Alright guys, so I am currently driving. Um, I decided, well my conscience told me to bring my camera, so I did. I've been getting a lot more requests about like positivity, spirituality, and all these types of things. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen that I've done some guided meditations with my friend Ariel. Um, but, you know, I guess my intuition said to be a little bit more open with you guys on how I process um, emotions or how I process negative energy, um, how I contain myself and, and maintain positive energy. So you guys are going to go on this little journey trip with me. Um, typically, if I can, I do end up leaving um, because sometimes if you get out of your environment, um, you're allowed to give better gratitude, you're allowed to get out of your own, you know, energy that you have in your house, and sometimes you just need a reset, and I feel like sometimes resets can't happen in your own environment, but that's just me, and obviously there are times where I am in my environment and have to hard reset as well, so today this is just a reset when I am, you know, blessed enough to be able to leave my home. So yes, it is in the midst of, you know, Corona. However, if you know anything about me, this ain't stopping me. <laughs> um, and I'm not even gonna get into that and I'm not gonna speak on it because I don't want anybody to think that um, anything I say is insensitive because you know somebody will take one thing that you say and flip it to another. But um, my motto for life is I'm living every single day. No one is going to tell me what I need to do as far as, you know, I'm already an introvert, so I'm always already home. But it's a difference when I'm being told something based on some things that, you know, I'm not even gonna get into it. Just know, Corona ain't stopping Linda, okay? So I'm on this road trip. I'm not gonna be on my camera long because obviously I am on the freeway and you shouldn't be doing this. Don't ever do this. Um, but I just wanted to come and say, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna film this whole, you know, mini trip for myself and show you guys some of the things that I do to get my energy back. So, back to my Drake. <laughs> All right, my love, so I just made it here and I am parked in the car. This is my view. I'm about to get out to show you guys. I typically like to go places that bring me peace and where I can experience nature. So, let's see. This is very much so in nature, which I love. Look. Look how gorgeous. So I will be exploring soon. But first I need, ooh, you're zoomed in to me. Ah. But first I really need to eat. Um, so that's gonna be the first thing that I do. But I'm excited. It's a whole vibe in here. I love it, I love it, I love it. Even though it's completely empty. But that's okay, that is all right. So I just got to my room and this beautifulness is my view and it's a lot calmer here as far as weather. It's probably like in the 82, 85. So I'm about to go eat and start relaxing. I'm excited. So this is going to be my room for the night. I got my fireplace. I will be lighting it later, but this is so cute, right? So cute. And then I still wake up to a beautiful view. And I could like do the things I want to do now. Um, so yeah, I just finished moving all my stuff. Now I'm about to go outside, relax a bit, and then I think I'm gonna look for um, a trail. And yeah, we are off. How gorgeous is this? No complaints. I honestly feel like this has been the best time to go on vacation. Um, 
you know, hotels have been much easier. Airplanes have been much easier. Um, but whatever. I'm currently out here laid out on my favorite blanket. I'm about to start journaling. And my definition of journaling is basically anything that comes to mind. Sometimes I draw pictures or write random words or poetry. I bring colored pencils, crayons, whatever comes to mind. Got my water over there, which I need to bring a little bit closer. Um, I left my tripod upstairs. And I'm not going back to get it, so. This whole setup out here makes me so happy. I can't wait to have a backyard one day that I could come and sit outside and meditate. Like this is making me so happy. I literally wanna like pick this up and take it with me. Um, so I just did a little poem and now I'm going to go inside for a bit. Obviously it's very hot outside right now. Um, I'm directly in the sun. Um, so I'm going to take a little breather because my appliances are getting really hot. My devices, I mean, are getting really hot. And then um, I think I'm going to go explore a bit. I think I'm going to drive around and see what's out here. And yeah, I'm going to be back out here later for sure. Okay, so I'm off to Whole Foods. I don't like this store. But the nearest ah, Trader Joe's isn't for like another I mean the nearest Trader Joe's is literally over an hour away the nearest Sprouts is 50 minutes away so I am stuck with freaking what you call it um, Whole Foods but oh my god look at this view wait a minute This is doing for my overall energy like oh something about Arizona is just so refreshing So I stopped to take some pictures and I just felt absolute gratitude like just absolutely thankful and happy like I could even be doing this and leaving and you know being blessed enough to to have a car to drive here and you know get away and I just literally started laughing because I'm just like <sighs> turn right on state route 179 I'm supposed to be going to Whole Foods, it's only 11 minutes away, but it's taking so long because I just keep stopping because this place is just so beautiful and it's just, I really needed this, like I really did. And then as I'm driving to Whole Foods, I see a psychic store is open, a crystal store, so you guys already know I'm about to stop. So let's see what this store has. I totally wish the place at the top was open because I definitely want to get better at playing crystal balls but it looks like they're closed so we're going to go to this place instead because it looks like they probably have some crystals and if anything oh oh wait a minute wait a wait a wait a minute do you see these geoids though
so happy. <laughs> So far, these are the stones that called me, and I'm going to stop right here um, because I have no other um, intuitive thing telling me that I need more stones. So I'm going to stop here. So I didn't actually get the rocks that I said I was going to get. I ended up getting more. Sort of my life. Right. So here we are. And... It's okay. I'm good. I just had the best talk with Tanya in there. And it's one of those things where it's just like, energy truly is powerful because I wasn't even expecting that. Her energy was really great and she was a sweetheart. And I have no energy right now and I was able to, you know, keep up with the conversation. But she gave me some, some real information I think I really needed to hear for myself. And... Yeah, I'm very thankful that I stopped. I did spend way more money than I thought I was gonna spend, but my conscience said it's okay. Like, I don't even feel like those are bad purchases. Like, I'm content. So now, back on my journey again to Whole Foods. I just love this place so much, I wanna cry. <laughs> I'm just having another moment of complete appreciation. <gasps> Honestly, you guys have no idea how, honestly, you guys don't know how in love I am right now. If you are feeling down or drained or whatever the case may be, if you're going through something, sometimes I really suggest you get away, you know, get away and get out of that energy because other than me having to use the bathroom right now really bad, um, I'm just so thankful and glad that I did this because I was supposed to come yesterday and I was like, eh, I don't really feel like leaving. And then I pushed myself last night and I told myself, no, tomorrow you are leaving. I'm so thankful I did. So, so I'm back in my room. I turn, I just turned the fireplace on so it's getting going. I think I'm just going to relax in here for a bit before I get ready to go outside. I'm going to, um, you know, do a fire pit and I'm gonna bring a book down there. And um, yeah, it's been a chill day. I'm actually getting really tired and it's eight o'clock. Right now I'm gonna wake up really early to go hike. So, now I'm just eating the remainder of my salad from earlier. I don't think I showed you guys me at Whole Foods, but I just spent, you know, $4 and two avocados and a tomato. And I will be making a burrito with that. That's a door. I just made myself a little nori burrito. Just some tomato and some avocado and a nori sheet. Well, three nori sheets. Currently, by the fire, it's perfect. Got my little blankie. So it's been such a chill and well needed break. Wish I could have this fire like in the middle of a room. Feels so good. And the waterfall is perfect with it. So, I don't know if I answered the question earlier on how I handle or how I stay so positive. That's the question I've been getting. I know that when my energy is off, I just feel off. Everything feels off. I'm not like overly happy per se. I'm not like unhappy because I'm a very happy person, but. You just know when your like energy is off and typically if that happens to me I do have to I have to leave I have to reset and just get out of my normal environment just so I could truly appreciate other things because gratitude is something interesting like giving gratitude you really realize just how blessed you are and I do it every day before I open my eyes I just say thank you for all these things like 
whatever the case may be it could be a thank you for waking me up thank you for letting me breathe thank you for letting me see a friend or whatever the case may be i just give a whole bunch of thank yous um obviously if i can't leave my place i will sage which clears out all energy including negative and positive and then i'll follow up my palo santo to attract positive energy back into my home but if you have the ability to leave your home and see something different even if it's down the street just do it this was so needed for my entire soul right now everything so you guys i am calling it a night i pretty much sat at the bonfire for like two hours hour and a half maybe it was just very peaceful i thought i was gonna come in here and do some um work on my computer but i'm entirely too tired and I also want to get on the road kind of early tomorrow so I can get back home because I do love being home too. So I'm going to wake up early, probably go for a hike, meditate, come back shower, get my butt on the road. But I enjoyed it here. It's very chill. And um, yeah. Look at my fire. Well, it's not really lit right now. It was lit, but now it's dying down. I'm sleepy. Good night. <laughs> so, good morning. I am back out to meditate. Mm -hmm.